To me, rites of passage are really important, and we live in a society now where things have changed a lot. Religion used to give everybody a background and a basis, and there are a lot of people now who are brought up without religion. Now, I don't think you need, religion isn't in itself a rite of passage, or doesn't give rite of, it's just a gateway to different rites of passage. You can have ethics and all sorts of things, good morals, in a secular society, but you do need ceremonies and ways to mark the way you're going through life. Just take um, going from a childhood to teenagehood. We don't do anything to mark that uh, at all. It, you might have a, a 13th birthday party or something like that, but there's nothing. And going to um, from an adult to from a teenager to an adult, you know, we don't have often mark those ceremonies either. If they don't have a rite of passage, like we were talking about yesterday, people don't go through the doors that they're going to go through. They don't get a choice of doors to go through. And they often stay in that space forever. So particularly, um, say young men who don't have a passage, they will stay in that teenagehood age until, they're, until they die, if they don't have a passage to take them in to mature manhood. Something that says, I am going to a new place. And what a ceremony does is it, in the middle of the ceremony, at the start of the ceremony, you're something else. You do the ceremony and you change during that ceremony. At the end, you are in the new space, a new rite of passage with a whole new selection of doors to open. And you can go through one of those and move into it and move on and, and grow and change. But if you don't have any ceremony in your life, you never do. And you might just stay stagnant for the rest of your life. And that's what really concerns me that we don't do in our society. We just, we are not marking really important places in our life. We do a few. We have 21st birthdays, which is strange because we become of age at 18. We have, so what we're doing is celebrating a ceremony that is no longer valid, but it's so well within our psyche we keep on doing it. We do marriages, we do funerals, um, we have christenings. And there are other religious ceremonies, um, bats mitzvahs, bar mitzvahs, but these are, they're all religious. And with a secular society, what you need is something that will take you through that doorway, take you through a passage, um, but without having to, for you to have to um, pray to anybody or believe in a god or, or a goddess, um, but to mark your right and your change in your life. <laughs> friends and family to participate. So instead of reading from the Bible or singing hymns, we get people to bring their own personal readings that they can choose. And they can really read religious pieces if they want to. But what they are doing is bringing special poems to the event. Some people act, their, their kids, if, if, if it's a family event, say it's a Mother's Day ceremony, which is pretty topical at the moment. And um, the grandchildren might want to do something for Nana. They might want to put in a little play. Or um, grandchildren who are older might want to play music for her. Um, you might want to sing to your mother, you might just want to talk there, say a poem that means something to you, um, give her a gift that you've made. Uh, all of these things can be valuable and you can also reach back into ceremonies um, such as uh, Celtic ceremonies from the past and take elements from those. Take a wedding, you can use hand fasting which is where the original tying the knot comes from. And you can use uh, uh, a beautiful um, set of ribbons to tie um, your hands together and that marks that you're going to be together for eternity. And that's really lovely and it brings in a feeling of, you know, before the past comes in and the future comes in and from that moment you're, you were once two separate people. Even if you were living together in the same house and in a relationship, you've said we are now bound and we're going to move together into a space as, those t as that couple um, and that's how we perceive ourselves. And so that's a, that's a nice way of doing it.